This is the way this is this is the way this set it set up. Giving you a T. And then you'll be able to just crank it right around. Lift it up. Alright, what I want to do is I need to break those lug nuts first. And you're gonna use your feet to do it. Like I said, make sure whoever works on your car and changes your tires uses a torque wrench. You don't want to. I my. I can, I can step on mine and break them loose. Because I only need to be 100, 120, 100. 150 foot pounds. 100, oh, I wouldn't even say 150. 125. 110, 125 foot pounds. And then you'll be able to go back right over okay. That looks now. Alright, let's get it. Get the tire off the ground. We'll go from there. All right, I gotta reposition this because my frame is my frame is bending with me lifting that up there. So I need to get it over here actually on the suspension. All right, real quick, this is where I have it. I have it right under your, right in the joint here. Um, swing arm, swing arm bolt. You'll be able to lift it. You should be able to lift it up right there. Shouldn't take but a couple of turns. Okay, this is where I had it, where I put it, was right on that back swing arm. It's a little, got to maneuver, maneuver it until it starts getting up there. Gonna keep hitting your trim. All right, let's get the, let's get the wheel off. All right, there's a good view of where I got it. Uh, Got hooked up. I think they want it really. They want it on that on that nipple right there. See it right here. I think they want it on that. Jack it up inside. And put it right on that. Put it right on this thing here. And you'll be good. Um, I rolled it around a little bit, and this is what I'm finding. Oh, where are you? Oh, my thumb on it. There we go. Right there. I've got something going on right there. I don't know if that's it, but uh, we'll find out when I get home. Get the spare on here. All right, there we go. I got it on here. I got it started. And now, uh, just go ahead and tighten everything up as tight as you can with your hand fingers. Ways to go, man! All times that I don't have my freaking impact in the truck, in the in the truck, that would have been nice. I don't get flat tires very often, but and it's just sitting there on the sitting there on the bench in its bag, not in the truck where it could be used right now. <laughs> all right. All right, good start get them all as snug snug as you can on the bottom man I gotta help you none yeah, almost didn't snug as you can while it's on while it's on here cause it's gonna <laughs> You might keep going. Good and snug. And then you take it down a little bit, put some weight on the tire, and then, uh, man, my tennis elbow is hurting me. <laughs> Signs of getting old, huh? All right. 
and then you don't want to really you don't want to go highway speeds you want to get it get it to the garage as soon as you can or get it in my case I only have to drive freaking three miles so I got no issues uh, okay let's see all right and I just go ahead and put some foot weight on it. Okay. Really no way to judge how much pressure to put on the lug nuts at this point, but just push it down enough that you, you start getting no resistance with your weight. Maybe jumping up and down on the on it, but uh, it should be good. And of course, if the tire's been sitting under the vehicle for years and years, <laughs> there's gonna be very little air in it. And as you can see, I've almost got a flat tire, but it's off the rim. Okay, you're not gonna want to go. You want to get to the gas gas station and inflate that depending on how far you've got to drive if you're going to drive 20 or 30 miles you're going to want to get air in that that'll get me home i mean that's no issue issue there um that little that freaking air compressor is worthless Get the old tire back in here. Mess around trying to figure out how to get the jack back in there at the moment. Alright, so there we are. That's how you that's gonna that's gonna hang under there. A little while. Um, no. I guess I can draw it up just a little bit. Is it this one? Yep. Yeah. That's gonna be the. You're gonna put it in that that hole. Now we're gonna go other way. Take it up just a little bit. You're gonna have to bring it down anyway to put the tire back up. Just want to take it up higher than higher than the axle so it don't get caught on anything. <laughs> All right, there we are. What happened? Not far enough in there. All right. Okay, so there we are. Get the little instruction manual that comes might be with it. Um, back up there a little. Bit. Throw it back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this will be here. It gives you everything you really need to know. Um, abbreviated. So. 
I just walked you. I just walked you through everything real quick. And we'll get back in here. This is gonna be difficult for anybody looking to get in here. Because you gotta you gotta turn this and then if you haven't got it you ain't got nothing to turn it with. Because it doesn't you know, all it shows is how you get it out of there. Or that thing there. So yeah, make sure you and use all your safety precautions, make sure it's in in park and so um block block the tires and don't get under it and all that good stuff so and in today's day if you got insurance most likely insurance company has got a got a road road rescue service for you so anyway there we are. <laughs> Something I really didn't want to have to do tonight. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share, and be safe. And we'll catch you on the next <laughs> Dana Crosby's vlogs.